this week for National Apprenticeship Week uh, for our annual competition. We've been privileged to be supported by GWIS. Gervis. Gervis. Apparently we've been saying it GWIS all these years and it actually isn't that. It's Gervis. Gervis. German yeah. name for an Italian company. Who'd have thought Based it? Based in northern Italy. There you go. Who'd have thought it? So get that one right. So today um, they've brought part of their piece of kit they brought is the auto test restart um, fantastic for my side I think it's a great piece of kit for industrial and commercial um, installations uh, and Dave uh, who's with us is going to give us kindly give us a demonstration to you. Yeah, thanks Dave. yeah this uh, the auto test restart this is patented by Gervis worldwide okay um, it tests it's an it's an um, auto test in circuit and it's also self-resetting on a nuisance trip piece of kit okay so normally what you would do if you were testing rcds which everybody does of course you would normally the power's coming in there you would trip the rcd to test it and then you would reset it so the power's gone out you would then reset power back on and away you go what this does is this one uh, comes out of the factory at 28 days for the test. You can have whatever you like, five days, 10 days, it doesn't matter. They normally set it to 28 days. So on the 28th day, this will happen. I'm gonna force it now. It will shut down there, but notice there's no loss of power, okay? It's tested itself, it's wiped its contacts, done its maintenance, back online with no loss of power okay so that's the auto test part that's the part that is actually patented to get this now i can see the benefit of that or the stay in the obvious is that there's no downtime no less downtime for factories there's no need to plan that in in terms of your plan maintenance so if we've just got if there's, there's no power but we're still testing the test button then you know for me that's 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 a win uh, and i'm right in saying Dave, that this is a seven this is a four pole seven module. Right. And I've just checked, it is seven pole, a uh, seven module right. piece of kit. We haven't got a, the two pole has been miniaturized, but this is still seven so pole. So this is for demo, presumably. Uh, they can buy this uh, as well, can you? Um, yeah. But we do. they do do a smaller version, which will take up less space in the board. So um, I think that's something to work to worth looking for. Okay. The second part of, the, uh, of this equipment is that uh, let's say we get nuisance trips, you know, um, nuisance trips are a nuisance. Um, what this will do, let's say we've got, for instance, uh, it doesn't matter if it's an environmental trip or whatever internal, where someone switches on a big bit of kit or gets hit by lightning or whatever. This will then trip. So I'm gonna um, put a trip on this. This is gonna be a nuisance trip. So here's the nuisance trip. RCD reacts, switches off. It's now checking the circuit. Within 10 seconds, it will decide whether that was a nuisance trip, which it was, and it's reset itself. No outside influence, okay? So uh, where would this piece of kit be good to be used? Somewhere where you have to test an RCD, imperative. Somewhere where you cannot afford to lose power. Maybe a, a radio mast, middle of nowhere, something like that. Um, the final part of this, I'm going to now put a permanent fault on this. Let's say something goes permanent, so one of the pieces of kit burns out, or something like that. So I'm now going to put the permanent fault on it. It has tripped, and now it's testing itself to see if it was a nuisance trip. It's going to decide that it wasn't a nuisance trip. It's now gone permanent, and it's sent a signal to the outside world. Now. Any outside communications, if you've got Wi-Fi, we have an app. So you could be walking around and your phone goes, there it is, you've got a permanent fault on this piece of kit, you need to go and test it. And you know that it's gone permanent. Also on this as well, with, with regards to nuisance trip, if this is nuisance tripping, you would never know about it because it's automatically resetting. But there is a log on this, on that, and also on the test side of it as well. So that if someone says, can you prove to me that you have tested that RCD, you can go into the log and there it will be. Mm -hmm. So um, I've just taken the, the permanent off that. It will take a couple of minutes to reset itself 
and go back online, but it will do that itself. Wow, thank you very much. It's very kind of um, Gavis. Gavis. Gavis to come down and show our students this piece of technology, which we wouldn't have necessarily the opportunity to do so without these events. So thank you, Apprenticeship Nas National Apprenticeship Week. Thank you, Gavis.